Okay, all right, it's time now. Okay, it's great to be here with you today in the track. Uh, we'll talk about the new observability database. Uh, we all know that there are uh, three pillars of observability, uh, trees, log, and metrics. There has been uh, various of database folks on uh, metrics, for instance, different DB, parameters, uh, for trees and logs, we have the other solutions, for example, US3, search, and Loki. Uh, how to combine all of the three modules together to automate all of them is a big issue for us. In this representation, uh, I will focus on trees and log data to talk about how to leverage RAM, conjecture, the design, the data modules, and the write and the read parts. Uh, I hope that in this talk, uh, we will contribute to the understanding of the BNDB and what's the uh, design decision of such a database. Okay, let me briefly introduce myself. Um, I come from the trade. The trade is a number company. Uh, in the last uh, session, um, I, is a, a little guy I ran from my uh, company. As, uh, the trade is a number company. I provide practice and the people that for the enterprise can use the modern that their people and the process, but also and the AI. Uh, customer also cut uh, the observability empowered by upscale working, and I'm one of the PMs members of this project. I'm also a PMs member in application sphere, now which uh, distributed the middleware of the database. So that's why I'm interested in the tracing and the storage. Okay, this is our today's agenda. The first the part, we will introduce the treating storage. Uh, we will introduce the classic uh, string storage big table. And the second part, we will introduce the uh, scale working storage layer. Uh, the sort of one way uh, is the RAM conjecture. That's uh, uh, the back uh, factors of the BIDB. The last part, we will give a glance of the BIDB. Okay, the first one is tree storage. Okay, so when you have a distributed tree environment, uh, you actually looking at all these little events uh, in this plot, and you want to put them in some orders. Uh, you want to know when something is slow and uh, how long the slow event has taken. Uh, the whole more is usually at the uh, third hand, the later one is the latency. PM is uh, really important uh, for tracing because we want to sort and filter trace bands both start and the latency. This character indicates that the underlying storage should select any one of the two dimensions at the cluster index to store bases. She state, well, I use another one at the secondary or non cluster index. Except for the time, uh, tracing context, uh, including the, uh, some the IDs, uh, just like the tracing ID. Uh, uh, that means any spines belong to a single trace, and the spine ID and the parent spine ID, or just the parent ID. Uh, we should index them or aggregate uh, the base data better. Anyway, uh, we should think out a cabinet way to retrieve the spines better easily. Besides of the trace context, labels and logs, they are typically unstructured and semi-structured date. Uh, we don't have any idea how many labels in a single span because uh, once we collect them, we know exactly what's the contents of them, but we don't uh, know, uh, we, we don't uh, um, determine uh, 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 which the labels we can get. So, Logs have the similar, uh, similar stories because we don't know what the contents of logs, especially for the uh, error logs and the normal logs, because the contents are very different. We know that the error logs, we usually have a stack in that, and for the normal logs, you usually have a single line uh, to indicate what's going on. So based on that, we introduced the classic uh, tracing storage big table because it's double usage. 
The double trace logging and the collection pipeline is a three-stage process. The first expanded is writing in the local log files. It is then put from the all production hosted by that daemon and the collection the structure. And finally, uh, writing into a cell in one of the several regional DAP Big Table repositories. A trace is stored as a single Big Table rule, and each column saves one span of the trace. Big Table's support for the spare table layout is useful. Since since we cannot uh, figure out how many spans of a single trace before all of them are collected. Thanks for the big table is a coding database we can write and battery spans into one single row because we can estimate the number of points in one single trace. Uh, please remember that this is a key feature for the uh, tracing system. From the, the function of the big table, I summarize some of the key points and the uh, principle of a classic uh, trace storage. Uh, firstly, it should be a capacity of the existing high throughput date. It may have a uh, load balancer uh, to rewrote the incoming tracing date and uh, distribute storage engine uh, to spray out to them the course and number of server nodes, even more distributed film system. The secondly, uh, the story system could scale up uh, linearly, especially it should scale at the runtime. Uh, tracing system is the central of the observability architecture and effect various monitoring and analyze system. And this amount of the trace data varies in different time uh, based on this requirement. A scal a scalability is necessary for this kind of storage. And finally, uh, because of the arbitrary structure of the tracing date, as uh, we have told about that, uh, tracing storage should the process same structure and the add structure date. Especially, uh, except for these uh, classic uh, characters, as uh, observability, uh, observability database, the trace and the log part should use less memory as possible because we read max trace a lot. Don't want to the trace writing impacts the performance of the metric reading. And that one we should build in depth by time. A big type of solution only supports acquiring spans by trace ID. But for a modern observability database, we should imply more uh, criteria to filter a spans. For example, uh, throughout time latency even some meaningful labels. And uh, uh, shorting is another use case for index. Uh, shorting by the third time and the latency uh, becomes more and more important uh, in the modern observability system. All right, next part, we will introduce the modern hybrid storage, uh, MySQL Elastic and the Influent DB. Yes, MySQL is a traditional relation database uh, which can handle structured data properly. Uh, Elasticsearch is a search and analyze engine based on the Lucy search engine. So that uh, at the same time, different DB is a time series database uh, which empowers the developer to build IoT analysis and the monitoring software. And let's talk about the pros and the cons about them. Uh, MySQL and other regional databases do not appropriate the tracing and the log scenarios because due to the popularity in the world, we usually uh, use them as a testing and a demo purpose. By leveraging some tools, we also can bring them on board not only in the staging or UAT, even on the production environment. The first issue we should be enhancing is to increase the Value MySQL can ingest and analyze. Uh, loosely speaking, as uh, data sharding is not the only way we increase the capacity in MySQL, but a more popular tool. Uh, scale working uh, copes with the satisfier to accumulate a number of MySQL instances to fix the volume requirements of a tracing date. Uh, the second uh, is MySQL ecosystem is under the communicated. It's a big advantage uh, for me. There are various uh, DBA or the operator are uh, developing uh, a developer who familiar with the ecosystem. 
and this is a big advantage for my circle solution. The next part is uh, Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch supports the distributed search out of the box uh, using the concept of uh, shards. A shard is a single listen instance and managed by Elasticsearch. Two types of shards, namely a uh, primary shard and the replica shard, are supported. By default, a document is first indexed on the primary shard and then on the replica side. So number of the primary shard can be specific uh, to cater the expected volume. Uh, by default, you like search create five shard for an uh, index, but once the number of the primary shard are uh, decided, it cannot be changed. Uh, replica shard are uh, copied the primary shard. They are used to handle failure and increase the performance, but actually uh, to start working, we don't recommend to use the replica shard because um, uh, we have well, the high uh, overhand uh, as the writing. If you use the replica side, uh, you uh, would uh, uh, find that uh, you all the Elasticsearch uh, cluster will harm because of the replica side request. It is also possible to perform the various analyze operation, like a time series uh, analysis using the time side, and find the top n series by latency in the cluster. Even if the don't provide the building support for analysis, a training system like Skywalking uh, can benefit from his first search capability, also from his ability to handle a voluminous data site. The last part we will introduce the uh, influent DB. A uh, influent DB and the other time series database have a perfect writing and reading patterns to handle observability data. Uh, for example, uh, they have more writes and uh, reads as the most recent date and generated in real time is not updated. This is read by time range. And the last one is the recent date have a hair possible to be read. Besides of that, uh, they have uh, some uh, uh, other advantage about uh, just like uh, the larger amount of data, uh, especially in the LT general, the number will be even larger. The data size may be the measure of TB or PB. And the third one is the uh, timeless. Uh, time series data is uh, time sensitive. HSDB use uh, how uh, the retention window uh, did beyond this retention window can be considered active and can be safely deleted. Uh, that's because the old data usually doesn't have much value and uh, we have to save storage cost uh, by deleting the low value data. Because uh, they are all new, uh, they, uh, for example, even DB only uh, five or six years old, uh, we don't get enough support uh, more than the official source. Uh, that means we don't have uh, much uh, the DBA and the operation uh, uh, operators to familiar with the even DB and the other time series database. And another uh, drawback about uh, time series is the time series date uh, tend to be piled with the metadata uh, that uh, describe the date. Uh, open the primary time series data and all the metadata is indexed for faster query performance so that you can quickly find the value that match all of the specific talks. But the uh, cardinality uh, of the uh, time series data set is typically defined by the cross product. Uh, you mentioned that the cross product of the uh, Cardinality of each individual targets and the fields. That means you must use a lot of the memory to store all of the metadata. That's because of one point you say when different DB have the have, uh, cardinality issues, but uh, today different DB he use a uh, new uh, searching engine, so can uh, so can flush some of the, the metadata onto the disk to so read the uh, memories. 
Okay, in the it's two uh in this part we uh, introduce the three different uh database to handle the tracing date, but uh, uh, you will find that some has the best uh, better performance uh, just like Elastic Elasticsearch, but we use a lot of memory, but some as uh, uh less memory usage uh, like the time series uh, database, but he lacks some. Uh, uh, capability to filter and analyze the tracing data. Um, so uh, we should find another uh, solution uh, to get more, uh, uh, to, to, to get the uh, uh, better performance of the handling uh, this, uh, this tracing data. So in this part, I will introduce the RAM conjecture and how it impacts the design decision of the BIDB. What we mentioned this conjecture on this first term we should talk about is the data access method. Data access uh, references an uh, ability to access and retrieve data stored within storage system. Uh, usually, a storage system is designed based on use case and achieves that by carefully deciding the memory and the disk storage requirement, uh, defining a well structured access and the retrieval pattern and the designing the data structure, etc. This decision defines uh, the possible ways uh, the storage engine can read and update the data in this system. The RAM conjecture states that uh, we can now design an uh, access method for storage system that is optimizing all of the following uh, three uh, steps arrays update and the memory. Uh, this conjecture indicates that we always have to treat one to make the other optimize. And this makes the three overhand uh, competing triangle uh, very similar to the famous cap uh, scenario. Yes, uh, I will show you uh, some example of the, uh, to, uh, well, well, what is the meaning of the triangle of the RAM conjecture? The rate, uh, the rate optimized storage system of very low uh, read all hand, but require uh, some extra additional space to get necessary performance. And the extra date also impacts the performance of update because once the main date is updated, we have to write extra rate to optimize the read. A fine example of the read of the mighty story system it is the one that supports the point indexes, also called the hash base indexes, offering the custom time exercise. The system that provides another time exercise like the D-trace and the scape list. Update the automatic storage system of a very low update overhand by usually using additional space called the different uh, different in the date, uh, for example, the data date, and flushing them over man data in a bulk operation. A few examples of the update of the MIDI system are RSM tree and the uh, partition, the B tree and the FD tree. This structure offer a very good performance for an uh, update highway system, uh, but suffer from uh, increased rate and the space overhand. While reading data from LSM tree, the engine needs to perform the read on all the tiers and then perform a, a conflict uh, resolution and the mounting the tires of the data itself a huge space overhand. And the last one is the memory of the mind storage system uh, designed to uh, minimize the additional memory requirement for access and update. Uh, to be the memory optimized the system usually use uh, comprise the mandate and uh, the additional storage. A few examples uh, of the memory optimized system are uh, loosely, uh, for example, the uh, loosely indexed structure like the blue uh, blue filter, uh, CM sketchers, uh, the loosely encoding, and the uh, spare indexes. Uh, keeping Either mine or the additional data comprised uh, to be memory effection. 
uh, the system have bad effect on the right and the right as the comparison and the decomparation add to the update on the right over hands. Uh, Add solution as an uh, access method that always provides the lowest rate cost. The lowest update cost and requires no extra memory and storage space over the base state. But in practice, uh, this structure are designed to compromise between the three RAM overhead, while the optimized design depends on several factors, uh, such as the handleware, uh, hardware, uh, workload, and the user expectation. Uh, we propose the RAM project here uh, when design access methods are set uh, up bound for two of the RAM or hand that implements a hard lower band for the third or hand, which cannot be in the future reduced. The RAM conjecture opened the path uh, for exciting research challenge uh, towards the goal of creating the RAM adaptive access method. Turning access method become increasingly important uh, on the top of the big data and the hardware. The founder of the RAM conjecture considered uh, the development of specialized system and tools a cut date and aiming at serving a narrow site and application each. That was inspired me uh, to build a new database, VDB, to serve another narrow site, uh, another that means the trace observability date. Okay, and what's the access method of the trace and the, uh, even the log date? I summarize it to a sentence. A trace may be logs, read many, never read, and never sent to executory. But let's think about how we deal uh, with the uh, trace date. Uh, we don't intend to um, uh, present. Uh, we don't intend to the uh, present um, on the main mon monitoring screen or view them from time to time. Uh, when something goes wrong, uh, we want to use traits and the logs uh, for debugging uh, instead of uh, retrieving all data from the storage. We would like to fill the small side of the base state. That means uh, most of the data will be ignored and uh, rarely be used. Uh, even never, because most of the successful uh, logs on the trees will never read at all. Uh, we uh, usually uh, uh, transfer on the user pipeline to transfer this data to a big data system. Uh, the big system uses this uh, data to analyze how uh, the performance, how the pattern of the uh, whole clusters. So for the API, uh, just like scale working, uh, we uh, usually are uh, uh, really uh, most of the uh, trees on the log date. The last one is the uh, uh, core of all my representation is a glass of the BIDB. Uh, we, we mostly focus on the tracing part. Okay, uh, why we call it BIDB? It, it's a uh, uh, the project address. Uh, if anyone interested, uh, interested in uh, this project, uh, we will welcome the PRs. Um, the uh, hope prize is uh, uh, the working in progress. Uh, we will release the first uh, version uh, at the end of the month. Um, but uh, we have a long way to make it the product ready. So uh, we get a, a snapshot uh, about my Twitter uh, to uh, uh, oh, to indicate the, uh, why we choose BandDB as the new project name. Uh, well, generally, uh, I like its growth of style of the banner tree. And the trees, the branches go uh, grow out, and then the new roots grow out from the branches, and down to the earth, the sports additional growth. Uh, that's imply our database is from a single point to, to grow up a multimodal platform. And furthermore, I hope the database have great um, uh, utilities as the bio tree uh, getting stronger and stronger. Okay, what's the target? 
is the what's the goals? Uh, the first of the goals we want to support uh, the multimodals, uh, the three pillars of the uh, of the ability, logs, trees, and the metrics. Uh, the goal is to get effective based on the RAM conjecture. Uh, our goal is to seek a better uh, cost performance or the uh, cost benefit ratio instead of a single factor uh, performance. Because uh, Skywalking uh, uses uh, Elastic as a uh, main storage. Uh, Elastic has a uh, uh, better uh, performance, but uh, we know we all know that uh, he will use a lot of memory, even a lot of the CPU to handle uh, those state. So we uh, don't want to seek a single goal. We want to uh, seek a balance. I say the balance cost and the performance. So what? Well, now, why we, we do that? Because the observability is the second line system, usually. Uh, the organization, uh, even the operation team, will pay more attention at the cost benefits than the first line production system. That's why we choose this uh, patch uh, to build our uh, new database. Okay, next part, we will introduce some uh, structure of the database. Okay, finally, we derive uh, from the classic database design principle uh, splitting the abstract model into the uh, logic and the physical models. Uh, in this uh, uh, plot, uh, you will see that uh, it's the logical model. The logical model defines the layout and the primary memory and the internal components. The physical models map the logic models to the underlying storage. Before ingesting data into the database, the end user create a logic model hierarchical uh, structure uh, determining how they are grouped and laid out. Uh, so index generation rules uh, should be applied uh, to the uh, about structure, uh, indicating how the BIDB generates the indicates. It's much different from the other time series database, for example, even DB and uh, uh, Prometheus. Uh, BIDB intends to control uh, indices uh, duration instead of auto generation style uh, used by uh, just two examples. Uh, the BIDB index creation approach, the advantage is the awarding and pre dictionable indices uh, that surprise the users, affecting the stability and bring our hands to BIDB. Even this approach is dropped uh, some flexible and thus uh, so may be more challenging than the auto generation uh, strategy at the very beginning. Uh, planning your database more carefully uh, would bring more benefit for long term operation. Okay, this uh, logic model of BIDB is the employment where a hierarchy of several objects. Uh, the first one is a database. A database uh, represents a single BIDB cluster. A database has uh, multiple groups. Uh, each group contains a set of the options like retention policy and uh, max group and uh, 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 max uh, date. And uh, a group has uh, multiple shards and the index rules and the root boundings. And index rules indicates which fields are indexed and an index root bindings bounds an index root to the target serialized. Uh, there may be several root bindings to a single series, but their effect time range cannot be overlapped. The so four is a shard. A shard is uh, the same as a shard in Elasticsearch. Uh, we introduce, we, we copy that uh, the notion from the Elasticsearch. Uh, provide a distribution uh, capacity to the underlying serialized by serialized ID. A shard on the uh, multiple series. A series uh, consists of a, a sequence of date point. BIDB supports three different kinds of series, a tree segment series, metric series, and the log series. Uh, uh, There's three different series and uh, uh, compared to the uh, uh, three pillars of the durability uh, trees, metrics, and log.
Okay, uh, in last part, we introduced the RAM conjecture. Uh, based on the RAM conjecture, uh, which part we will be used uh, as the BiDB tracing part? Uh, we uh, choose the memory and write and drop the read uh, because uh, we have the mention right, the trace state uh, never read, <laughs> or even the rarely read. Uh, for the memory part, we use a comparison. Uh, to improve the uh, improve the size of the value of the whole memory, uh, the red path we use the RSM tree and the scaffold to, to improvement uh, to improve the write performance. So the RSM tree and the scaffold um, is uh, well known to all of you. So I will um, focus on the first part, the, the comparison. Yes, I just hold. Yes, before we start uh, the BioDB, we do we had to do some the story about uh, the underlying this structure. Uh, uh, after the story, we choose the spiral index structure as the tree serialized model. Um, as the diagram shows that IDs are generated by a auto in a incremental component stored once per tree storage. Uh, they are stored by the uh, index as a reference to the target chunk. So we will introduce the whole uh, physical module uh, from the, uh, uh, by the red parts and the red parts. Uh, from the red parts, uh, supporting a segment as the right and uh, segment uh, is the notion uh, for skywalking to uh, group a number of the spines from a single instance. Uh, so you can see that uh, it's a span uh, in the classic uh, uh, tracing models. Uh, supporting a segment as right in uh, the trace through as NG uh, compose uh, the ID structure. Uh, you can uh, first the chunk ID generated by our self increment generator as an uh, integer. And the, the serial ID is uh, a hash code of the few list. You can see that the few ID is a combination of the service name and the instance ID. Uh, in this example, it's an IP address. And the, the third part is uh, a state. Uh, the fourth means. Uh, uh, this segment uh, is few is a field. The uh, third one is the time. The time is the first the start time in a single series, and the third one is offside. Its offside is a pointer uh, to the start position of the target segment. Then the engine finds that the trunk buffer with the row ID. Uh, Combinate with the serialized ID and the time, uh, writing the segment into a dedicated buffer slot. Uh, once the buffer slot is full, it will be uh, compromised, then flush uh, to the KV store range. Analyzing KV storage, we use the buzzer, uh, buzzer uh, KV storage. If the total size of the buffer exceeds the threshold, uh, some slots will be selected based on FIFO to be flushed on the disk in order to release the primary memory. Uh, is there another case? Uh, if the BiDB face uh, the high uh, calendary, uh, for example, uh, you know, if there are a lot of threads ID uh, in my memory, that means either of the three ID uh, gets uh, 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 opportunity to flush on the disk because uh, I never reached the, the bucket limit. Uh, we will use uh, another part to uh, do the comparison. Uh, in the uh, compaction uh, phase of the LSM tree, we uh, read uh, the data with the same key uh, from the different uh, L0 uh, tables and uh, 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 to combine them and uh, compare them and write to the next level of the tables. Uh, in the red parts, uh, the result of the index querying is a list of the IDs uh, to the serialized engine converts an ID to a segment location, a row ID plus offsite. 
Then we could see that the Tucker is low from the QV storage and comprise and, and uh, extra the segment with the offsite. It's another uh, index, uh, the parse uh, is the trace ID. Trace ID has a lot of uh, uh, low recording uh, frequency. Uh, LDB is the text index as an not the uh, perfect solution uh, to this scenario. So uh, we use a uh, uh, block attached uh, index to store uh, the trace ID and uh, the a reference of each uh, trunk, uh, each trunk ID. Uh, the solution is similar uh, with the uh, big table uh, because we use uh, key value. The value is a list of the uh, uh, trunk ID, trunk ID uh, reference and the uh, segment. So we have the similar uh, solution. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, let, let's wrap them up. Um, in this representation, uh, we talk about uh, the classic uh, storage for the tracing day. Uh, we have uh, introduced the rep conjecture uh, to uh, uh, introduce that we can use a different access method to design new database to our uh, tracing data, to, to handle tracing data. Uh, the last part we introduced the uh, BIDB uh, was the design decision uh, behind the BIDB. And I would like to someone introduce the new project uh, we uh, uh, join with us to build a new database uh, for the whole observability world. Okay, thank you a lot. Any questions here?